what if there was a supplement that had research to suggest that it can delay aging in humans? What's up guys, my name is Lucas and today I'm here to talk to you about an anti-aging supplement known as spermidine, which has some very exciting research to suggest that it may delay aging in humans. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my mission is to bring you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please be sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button below. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below as I do my best to respond to each and every single one. So of course, today we are here to look at spermidine and specifically we're gonna delve into what spermidine is, how it works, and some really impressive research that highlights the benefits of spermidine supplementation. So what is spermidine? Spermidine is actually present in all human tissues and it's considered a polyamine, which is an organic compound consisting of two or more amino groups. There are three sources of spermidine. We have endogenous spermidine, which is made from the precursor amino acid ornithine. Then we have microbial spermidine, which is produced from our gut bacteria. And then third, we have dietary spermidine, which means that we consume spermidine from certain foods. So I'll dive into this very shortly. We know that endogenous spermidine production accounts for roughly one third of the body's total spermidine amount. However, the ability to produce spermidine endogenously decreases with age. Whilst microbial and dietary intakes make up two thirds of the body's spermidine needs, dietary intakes vary greatly between countries with spermidine intake being the highest amongst Mediterranean and Japanese diets and lowest amongst the American or Western European diets. So you're probably wondering where is spermidine found? Well, spermidine is actually found in a variety of foods such as aged cheese, specific types of mushrooms, soy products, legumes, corn, and whole grains. But unfortunately, many people are very sensitive to these certain food groups, and that is where supplementation can be advantageous to help one with their longevity goals. And by the way, guys, if you're listening in, wanting to know where to purchase spermidine, there is going to be a link in the video description below, so you can check that out. How does spermidine actually work? So we can see that spermidine targets a process known as autophagy. Spermidine does this very similarly to metformin and some other anti-aging modalities and supplements. So we know that spermidine can increase or activate autophagy. It can alter fatty acid metabolism. It can dampen negative cell growth that occurs in malignant or potentially tumorous cells. And also spermidine can suppress pro-inflammatory cytokines and also affect arginine and nitric oxide metabolism. So that leads to an amelioration of age-associated diseases, improved cell and organ function, and reduced carcinogenesis and improved chemotherapy. So yes, spermidine has been studied to improve the efficacy of chemotherapy as well. Here are some heart health benefits of spermidine. Looking at the cardiac effects, spermidine has been shown to improve cardiac diastolic function. It can reduce cardiac hypertrophy. It can also lower cardiomyocyte stiffness. It can enhance mitochondrial function. And from a vascular perspective or the vascular effects, spermidine has been shown to help with blood pressure control. It enhances endothelial function, which is blood flow and circulation. And it can lower arterial stiffness and reduce chronic inflammation. So here we can see how spermidine can act as a nootropic or a memory enhancer, so it can improve cognitive function. So we know that spermidine can alter membrane function, it can alter specific ion channels such as um, sodium potassium gradient and chloride channels. It can obviously activate autophagy in the brain as well, so it can clear out um, malformed cells. And also it can alter gene expression 
and also uh, affect protein synthesis uh, mRNA binding as well. This leads to uh, benefits in terms of memory preservation and general cognitive function. Here we can see how spermidine can act as a potential anti-cancer compound. Now, obviously I'm not saying that this should be the primary point of care for cancer treatment, but there is evidence to suggest that spermidine may have some anti-cancer potential and we can see the tumor tissue spermidine targeting so many different elements of tumor development and also activating the, the genes that are associated with tumor suppression. We can see that spermidine has very wide and broad spectrum effects that can improve overall metabolic efficiency and adaptability. So the very first study that demonstrates anti-aging properties of spermidine was titled Higher Spermidine Intake is Linked to Lower Mortality, a Prospective Population-Based Study. So this study basically outlined that spermidine intake was associated with a reduced incidence of mortality and improving overall longevity parameters in humans. And this next study was also titled Spermidine delays aging in humans. And this was an open access impact journal on aging. And ultimately what they concluded was that spermidine, again, will hit many of the hallmarks of aging and can actually slow down the aging process in humans. Now we're gonna have a look at some potential dosages for spermidine intake. So what we've seen in the research is that between one milligram to three milligrams per day seems to be the most efficient dosage to improve longevity, improve metabolic health, reverse graying of hair, improve skin complexion, improve metabolic efficiency, improve mitochondrial function, improve eye health, improve brain health. There are so many benefits to spermidine supplementation. So between one to three milligrams appears to be beneficial for humans. Again, if you're looking to purchase spermidine, you'll see a link to spermidine supplement in the video description below. Guys, I hope you learned something new in this video. Um, be sure to check out my Instagram, my website, my newsletter, and all of my other social media channels. So guys, thank you for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.